okay let us discuss so 5.32 so we have to draw the enantiomeric structure for the following molecule so some molecules are given to you you have to draw the enantiomer for the following molecule if possible if not possible then you don't have to write so let us say first molecule you have you have ch3 here and then you have here br and then you have ch3 uh, this is cl and then you have hydrose of this side so you have to draw the enantiomer for this molecule so this is the solid line you can see so draw the enantiomer so can you draw the enantiomer for this molecule let us take 10 second draw the enantiomer for this molecule you have to draw the enantiomer are you getting so draw the enantiomer for this molecule if you have done then we can go forward so you see what we have to do is I have to take the plane meter and then I have to take the image of this compound so CH3 will look something like this so CH3 is here now this hydrogen will come this side so if you take the mirror image so you have hydrogen this side now this bromine is going downside so again we will have downside and then CL will come forward so CL is forward side are you getting so this is your mirror image of this compound so this is enantiomer of this compound are you getting or not okay let us discuss the next problem if you have done this one so you have B so this is A B is easy one you can do this one a CHO here we have BR here you have hydrogen and then you have CH2OH you draw the mirror image of this that is the if possible you draw the enantiomer of this compound so you have to take a plane mirror here and then you put here so BR is here CHO is here H CH2OH so this is the enantiomer of this compound now let us discuss C so in this case again you have to draw the enantiomer if possible CHO HOH HOH so you have three times HOH HOH and then finally you have CH2OH so draw the mirror image enantiomer of this compound I think you can do this one so let us finish this one first ok done so let us make the mirror image of this compound so you can do this one OH 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 and then H H H here you have CH2OH and here you have CHO so this is the mirror image of this compound let us do D so you have to draw the so let us say this benzene ring you have and you have another benzene ring but this time this benzene ring is in the plane I think you are able to see this one but the next benzene ring that is not in the plane so some part of this is going inside and let me make solid lines so that you can think that this is coming outside so this is coming out are you getting and then here you have a C is ID in here you have this is coming out and here you have C is 3 that is coming in so you have C is 3 so you can draw the mirror image of this so you see this is in the plane of paper but this is perpendicular to the plane of paper so this is in the plane of paper this ring is in the plane of paper we have already discussed in the class because once you have these two groups here two groups here it can rotate it can repel to each other so that these two rings are not in the plane same plane this is in the plane of paper but this ring is in the perpendicular to the plane of paper are you getting and that's why this CH3 is inside this iodine is uh, outside so in the plane of paper so this is in the plane of paper but this is perpendicular to plane of paper okay draw the mirror image for this compound let me see how many of you are able to do this one if you have done then we can go forward so let us draw fast so I think you have done done or not 
If not, let us do this one. I need you have to do this one. Okay, let us see what you will do is you have a one this ring. So this ring I am writing. Now this ring is coming outside. So let us make slightly darker. And now here you have this is here, this is here, this is here. So you will have CS3. So this is going down again. And here you have iodine. So this is coming forward. So this iodine is coming forward. Now you have again ring. Now this ring is in the plane. So show something such that it looks like in the plane. So this ring is in the plane. And now here you have a CS3 group. And here also you have CS3 group. So this is, so this molecule is basically chiral because of the restricted rotation. You see these two cannot be superimposed. If you try to superimpose, uh, you will see uh, if you rotate, you try, if you try to rotate, uh, superimpose, what can you do? If you try to rotate this molecule, then you will find these two cannot uh, be basically uh, superimposed. Other way around you can also think, if you just simply superimpose this one, you, see, you can see easily these two molecules cannot be superimposed. So this is showing enantiomerism due to restricted rotation. So due to restricted, so this about this single word now rotation is not permissible because this is a steric slope. About this single word rotation is not permissible and that's why this compound is uh, showing enantiomerism. So optically active. Are you getting? Let us go for the next problem. I think you have done this one. So E you have. So this time you have C double bond C double bond C and C is 3 hydrogen. Here you have hydrogen and here you have bromine. So this is. So now see this is in the plane. So this bond and this bond in the plane. This is going downside. This is coming upside. So let us then make the mirror image and prove that these two cannot be are basically superimposed. So a mirror image will be this. I think you have done this one. C, C is 3 and here you have a hydrogen and then this hydrogen will go downside and this Br will come forward side. So this is the mirror image of this compound. Are you getting or not? Now if you think uh, if you want to try to rotate this molecule, once you try to rotate, what will happen? This hydrogen will go downside and this hydrogen, will, uh, this bromine will go downside and hydrogen will come upside. So you cannot basically superimpose these two molecules. If you try, you will find these two molecules cannot be superimposed. Uh, if you are not able to understand, I can show you. Let us see. This bond is in the plane. This bond is in the plane. Now if I rotate this molecule in the plane, so if I simply flip this 180 degree, so what will happen, you will have C and here you will have CS3 and here you will have hydrogen double bond, you will have double bond C. Now what will happen if you rotate this molecule by 180, this Br will go downside. Are you getting or not? And this hydrogen will come upside, so hydrogen will be here. So now you see, these two molecules are not same, so this hydrogen is coming forward. What we I am doing is, I am taking this molecule and simply folding this molecule by 180 degree. Simply in the plane of paper, if I fold this molecule by 180 degree, something like this, if I am folding, so this molecule, I'm, I am putting my axis here and just folding this molecule. So if I try to fold this molecule from this point, now CH3H will match, but this hydrogen and bromine will not match. Same thing you can apply here. If you fold this molecule from somewhere here, you will find if you try to fold this molecule something like this, you will find this ring matches, but this does not match it. The, the thing that is in the front will go back. So if you try to uh, make a, 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 make a uh, something kind of rotation by 180 degree, either you can rotate about this one. So this is in the plane. So this ring is in the plane. If you rotate about this ring about 180 degree, this side, what happens? If you rotate by 180 degree, you will see this is in the plane iodine that is front now it will go back side. If you rotate about this, because this is in the plane, so what you will have here, you will have something like this. 
Now if you rotate C S3 will come here, C S3 will come here. But now about this ring, so I can show you. So there you have ME, here also you have ME. These two rings are you getting. But now if you have rotated this one, this thing that is the front, now it will go back. So iodine will you have here. And methyl that is in the back, basically now it will come in the front. So you will have methyl here. And iodine on the basically uh, dash line. And methyl will come forward, iodine will go back. Now see, uh, what is happening here? You have methyl that is in the back, but you are having methyl in the front. So these two compounds are not same compound. What I am doing is, I am rotating this molecule about this axis. Are you getting? If you rotate about this axis by 180 degree, because this molecule is in the plane, it will remain in the plane. So this is initially in the plane. If I rotate by 180, it will remain in the plane. Are you getting? Now this ME will go, simply go this side, because in the plane, I am rotating only in the plane. Now this molecule, the, anything that is the above the plane, if I rotate by 180 degree, it will go back side of the plane. So anything that is back side will come forward side of the plane. So ME, that is initially back side, it will come forward side. Now I am doing the same thing here. This, this CS3 and H, in this case, this CS3 and H in the same plane. So if I rotate the whole molecule about this, if I rotate this side, this time, because this is in the plane, if I rotate by 180 degree about this line, so I am rotating something like this by 180 degree, this in the plane, this will remain in the plane. Anything that is front in the plane will go downside. Anything that is back in the plane will come forward side. If you see here, these two molecules does not match. So this thing we have already explained in the class in details. Okay, let us see the uh, B part of this question. We have more parts. So we have, let us discuss next part so i think you have copied those who have not copied please copy the first now you have this molecule f so what this molecule says i think you have copied this one now so f is you have this now here you have a double bond so here you have a double bond and then you have something like here ch3 and hydrogen now can you draw the mirror image of this? Before drawing the mirror image, can you tell me whether this compound will exist in an isomeric form or not? Now this compound has a plane of symmetry. If you try to cut this with this plane such that half of the ME group goes this side, half of the ME grows, group goes that side. Half of the hydrogen come this side and half of the hydrogen goes this side. So if you cross this molecule about this plane, there is a there is a plane of symmetry. So this will exist in meso form. So there is no need to write the so there is a plane of symmetry you can see. Plane of symmetry. If you want, you can even use the rotation technique. You just make the mirror image and then try to rotate, you will get the same thing. Let me try. I have not tried it. So let us try this one. So I have this molecule, I have hydrogen and CS3 and here I have a double bond. If I make the mirror image of this compound, what I will have? Now I will have a double bond here. Now anything the hydrogen this side we have, a CS3 and this is hydrogen is here. Now if I rotate this molecule, it's slightly difficult to think in terms of rotation. If I rotate this molecule by 180 degree, uh, should I get the same molecule? It's slightly difficult to think in terms of rotation. But if you think in terms of plane of symmetry, it's easy. You see there is a plane of symmetry. If you cut this molecule about this line that passes through this carbon as well as half of this CS3, half of this hydrogen, then there is a plane of symmetry. So in this case, you just think in terms of plane of symmetry. It's difficult to say in terms of rotation. Now, I have to rotate molecule such that this double bond and this double bond con uh, basically converges or superimposes. Then we can say something. Now, let us say Z we have. So this is the easy one. So draw the mirror image for this compound. CS3 here you have. And then you have OH. And then here you have CS3 group. So let us uh, do the mirror image for this compound. So let us take the mirror here. And put the mirror image. Let me check how many of you are able to do this one. Now 
Now no change you will have, you will have simply this mirror image. So here you will have CH3. Are you getting? Now this OH, so this on here, so you will have a OH this side that is coming from anything that is in the front will remain in the front anything that is in the back will remain in the back because in the mirror it does not changes are you getting now this will happen so now you see these two compounds are basically uh, cannot be superimposed if you try to superimpose uh, you will find so let us say if you just uh, try to rotate by 180 degree in that case what will happen this OH that is in the downside will come forward side even this group that is the downside will come forward side if you rotate by 180 degree it will not merge. So this is again enantiomeric pair. So they are enantiomer. So what we have learned in this kind of question is uh, basically how to write down the mirror image. So you can put a mirror and then you just copy the mirror image and then if you if you are able to see whether one can be rotated by some angle so that it can superimpose the other then in that case it will be made. So that is one trick. That is the best trick basically. You draw the mirror image and then try to rotate and if you are able to superimpose then compound will be uh, enantiomeric, uh, basically meso if they are able to superimpose. Now another trick you have that is that you look for the plane of symmetry or a point of symmetry. If you are able to find plane of symmetry then this compound will be meso. If you are able to find point of symmetry again meso. So what we have said, we have said if you are looking for meso you have to do two things. Either you can do the make the mirror image and then try to superimpose. If you are able to superimpose, then fine, these two compounds are mirror image. And other way round, you can do another way. That the second trick, you can look for plane of symmetry or point of symmetry. If you are able to find plane of symmetry or point of symmetry, then you can say this is a major compound. And third way you have that is writing the RS configuration. Are you getting or not? Sometime you can find uh, what is the RS configuration in that case if all the confirm configuration reverses then they are enantiomeric like RS becomes SR that is enantiomeric but you don't have in that case plane of symmetry. If there is a plane of symmetry again this will be meso compound. Are you getting? If only one changes like you have RSS and another have SSS in that case they will be diastereomer. So this kind of problem can be solved either writing the uh, RS configuration or looking for the point of symmetry, plane of symmetry or drawing the mirror image and then try to superimpose. Anyway you can try. We will go for the next problem.